welcome to Festive Cooking with All the Anime. We all know that Christmas can be a tricky time when it comes to feeding the anime fans in your life. So in this special program, we'll be giving you a whole host of top tips to satisfy your flock of anime hungry friends and family this festive season. We have enough to feed even the most ravenous fan for the 12 days of Christmas, and you'll be able to find all the tasty morsels we're about to show you from December the 1st to the 12th on our website. Now, before we get to the main course of exciting new dishes, let's start with a few classic recipes that we know you'll love this December. Whether it's to feed the anime habits of yourself or others, our traditional mystery boxes always go down a treat. And what's more, you can order them on December the 1st, so they'll arrive freshly delivered to your door at an unbeatable price. Each mystery box contains five natural, nutritious collector's editions, baked to perfection, and then delivered straight to you. Our boxes are even available in two different flavours. Now, what those flavours are, well, that's a mystery. Meanwhile, if you're always snacking on anime, why not look at our buy one get one free recipes? Whether you focus on your favourite flavours or mix things up a bit with something new, there's no better way to feed your hunger with twice the anime at half the price. Speaking of snacks, everybody loves to wake up to a host of small surprises on Christmas Day, and we have no shortage of fresh and frozen stocking fillers that will feed any appetite on a budget. You'll also find lots of other exciting deals this Christmas, so be sure to check out our website this December to find the dishes that are right for you. With those aperitifs out of the way, it's time for us to move on to our main course as we have 11 exquisite recipes that we want to introduce to you this Christmas. From all new dishes through to reimagined classics, we have plenty to tickle your taste buds. So, without further ado, let's head off and see what my colleagues have been rustling up in the Anime Limited kitchen. Hi, my name is Andrew Partridge and I'm the CEO of Anime Limited. And I'm here today to talk to you about what happens when you get production IG and Clamp together to make a vampire series. The result is Blood Sea, with the C in the name standing for Clamp. It's set over both summer and winter time, with the series in the boiling heat of summer, uh, in a Monster of the Week format, and the film is set in the, the cold of winter, like in Japan, and is an action-packed finale directed by the, the same director as Psychopath, Naoshi Shiotani. And there's little bits of Clamp mixed into the show as well, despite being a horror show, so you get this Wonderful mix of things which are great if you're a Clamp fan who's new to the world of Blood. And for Blood fans who are perhaps not used to the world of Clamp, there's things to give you ideas to jump into the world of Clamp from there. It's like, so there's a bigger chunk of Easter eggs there. And if you're a fan of things like Holic, for example, I would advise you keep your eyes open, especially in Blood Sea The Last Dark, because you'll get some, some nice little nods to the show and the manga. Um, as for the series itself on home video release, we had this opportunity to build a collector's edition at first, but as we kept going with it, we had more and more materials that meant it made way more sense to try and make a production archive for the series, so you get this kind of beautiful coverage about not just Blood Sea, but the world of Blood, The Last Vampire as a whole, and how this show came about and the film along with it. So we went from a collector's edition to making a highly limited run of 500 Ultimate Editions, which is the, the lowest number we've ever done. So we've individually numbered them. 
and we'll be putting the TV series and the films over three discs together with a 144 page A4 book. And if you've seen The Perfect Blue or like the, the beginning Ultimate Editions, it's going to be a similar style to those like on it. So it's something to, to really look forward to and really like cherish on it. And it'll be coming for pre-order during the Christmas sale and shipping out in early Q1 2022 um, for you to sink your fangs into. So I hope you enjoy one of my favourite vampire anime of all time when it comes out. Just another day, sitting in my chair, acting like a natural human, doing natural human things. <laughs> isekai. Isa what? No, Isekai. The name for the genre of shows where a group of unlikely protagonists is ripped away from their world into a strange new one to survive against all the odds. Ah, so that's why you're doing the whole Matrix thing that you got going on there 20 years after it was relevant. Well, yes, and, and there is a new Matrix film coming out in a few weeks. I mean, where have you been for the last couple of years? <laughs> Now you need to make a decision. On the one hand, you can listen to me rhapsodise about a beautiful isekai show that is also some gratuitous product placement for this Christmas video. Or, on the other hand, we can look at this dog. I've got to say, I'm really leaning towards the dog. Well tough, you're getting the sales pitch, otherwise marketing is going to be right up my ass. Alright, what are you here to shill then? One of those Wazakai things. Isekai. Okay, calm down. But I'm here today to talk to you about the granddaddy of Isekai shows, El Hazard. The magnificent world, and a magnificent world it is. Okay then. ReZero, Konosuba, all of that ilk. They are merely the Kohai, to the Senpai that is El Hazard. Okay, so what's it about then? I'm glad you asked. I genuinely am, because I love this show. I was so excited when we got the license for this show because this has been a favourite of mine for years. It is an underappreciated classic and one of the finest examples of the genre. Based around the character of Makoto and his school friends, whisked away from their 20th century environment into the fantasy world of El Hazard. The show has everything. Action, adventure, high drama, comedy, cat armour, priestesses, working out where you can get your next packet of cigarettes in a fantasy land, same with toilets in a palace, ask the big questions before any other of these shows ask the big questions. And it just transitions between them all seamlessly. I've never seen a show that quite so well switches between the comedy aspects and then to the genuinely very horrifying aspects of a fantasy war that is going on at the same time, in part instigated by one of the characters who's been brought through with them. It's an amazing show and I really hope that this encourages you to pick up our title and watch it. You kind of dropped out the whole Matrix Persona thing you had going there, you... Oh. Can I own this incredible show? Why yes, Keith. Yes, you can. This wonderful show is going to be available as a collector's Blu-ray set with all 11 episodes covering OVA1 and OVA2 in our usual fabulous collector's packaging featuring a 52-page booklet rammed full of artwork from the show all ready to sit beautifully on your shelf like some of these other fine titles behind me. Marvellous! Are we done? Yeah, yeah, we're done. Can you... Oh, you want me to... Go. Okay, cool. Hello everyone! Do you know how to gamble? Today I'm introducing you Kakegurui Season 1 Collector's Edition. What the story is about is this school in which by day you will get the usual education, history, languages, but by night it turns into a gambling den, the heart of dealing with money and manipulating people. Money is power and those who come on top of the game basically end up on top of the school as well. 
It comes from Renault Studio Mappa and director Yuichiro Ayashi, who is working currently also on Attack on Titan, the final season. Allow me to give you a brief overview of the collectors you will be able to make yours. It's a 12 episodes, Digibag Slipcase, Landscape 36 uh, booklet, a set of catchy and beautiful heart cards. Then what are you waiting? Time to get it. Wow, some delicious morsels there. And we're just getting started. So let's just keep this rolling and let's see what's next on the menu. <laughs> time to reflect on the things in life that we hold dear and to share special moments with friends and family that become cherished memories. Like many of you, I was introduced to the world of anime by friends and classmates and what better time of year to share the love of anime than at Christmas. From stocking stuffers to gifts from Santa, the things your friends really want can be found in the Anime Limited Christmas Sale. From December 1st to December 12th, you can find a range of classic and new titles released in beautiful premium collector's packaging. We've also got a great range of standard editions that include titles such as Persona 5, Anthem of the Heart, and Promise Neverland, and tons more. One of the collector's editions that I'm particularly excited about is Boogie Pop Phantom. This dark, seedy, noir anime has enough mystery to keep you guessing for all 12 episodes. Each one is told from the perspective of a different character, but they all weave together in the end for a shocking conclusion. It's not one of those shows you can watch in the background, so you've definitely got to sit down and watch and absorb the whole thing. I love the types of shows that keep you guessing till the end. You can find Boogie Pop and many more titles at alltheanime.com. From all of us here at Anime Limited, we thank you so much for your love and your passion for anime, and we love sharing that with you. We hope that you and your family have a wonderful Christmas season. Masaki Yuasa. That's it. That's my pitch for this next new title in our 12 Days of Christmas sale. Because really, I mean, what more do you need to know? It's something from Masaki Yuasa. Job done. Go buy it. It's Masaki Yuasa. It's great. There's... No? You want you want some more? Okay. Anime Limited, this Christmas, will be releasing Kaiba on Blu-ray. This is a 2008 series directed by Masaki Yuasa, kind of one of his earlier TV works. And uh, it is a show that I'm really excited that, that we're, we're finally bringing out here. It is... Uh, a really great and fascinating series. It's a really great um, kind of illustration of what Masaki Yuasa is all about in terms of both visual style and kind of uh, storytelling and sort of the dynamism of, of, uh, of the, the narrative of his shows. Um, and it also kind of wraps around quite nicely in some ways to keep your hands off Isaac N, uh, obviously a more recent hit from, uh, from Science Saru, which, uh, you know, has a, some of the same kind of feel and sort of love and care and attention to it. So uh, if you're a fan of that show, then you should absolutely check out Kaiba as a, a kind of a slightly a slightly off-kilter um, relation there. Um, because Kaiba is a very different kind of show to Isaac N. Um, for starters, it is not really of our world. It is set in some dystopian cosmos. Um, and it's a really weird but fascinating world because it is a world where people buy and sell their bodies and memories. Um, this is sort of a, a transhuman society where people aren't just relegated to a single body. They can switch between them and move between them uh, with a, a kind of immortality. Um, and obviously sort of that sort of portability um, is a really important topic. Um, for for this series and it sort of it, it has things to say about kind of you know money and and wealth and the distribution of it so there's there's maybe a little bit of squid game going on there if you want to be topical um, in terms of the the things that it's trying to talk about um, so it's a really really interesting show um, in pretty much every dimension you know visually it's you know it has a sort of 
almost like an Eastern European sort of cartoony look to it on its surface, um, which is not really a surprise when, you know, U Uasa's early work was working on things like Shin-chan um, and things that were sort of designed for, for kids. Um, and it's really fascinating watching that sort of visual style be ported into something that has far more grown-up topics and, and more grown-up things to say. Um, and so that's really fascinating and the story is, is really great as well. So if you're a fan of Masaki Yuasa, you probably don't really need to be sold on this, hence my introduction. You know, if you are a collector of his works, and to be honest, you absolutely should be, then this will be a fantastic addition to your collection. Um, of course, our collector's edition will, will feature our, our usual glorious packaging and also a booklet to give you a little bit more kind of context and information and uh, and artwork from the, the, the series. Um, but uh, I don't really think I need to say any more. Masaki Yuasa. Have I said Masaki Yuasa enough on this video? Masaki Yuasa. Incredible director. You should watch everything that he's done because it's all fascinating and very, very interesting. And this is no exception to that, so you know what to do come Christmas. Go pick it up. Merry Christmas, guys. I hope you're looking forward to the upcoming stress and turmoil of the holiday season and buying your loved ones the perfect and most appropriate gift. I know that I am. That's why I'm wearing these little Christmas penguins to try and cheer myself up because I'm already feeling it. I was thinking I might call this one Pen, and I might also call this one Pen too, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, since we're on the topic, anyway, of perfect gifts to get someone, for the art house anime lover in your life, I would highly recommend the incredibly weird and incredibly wonderful Belladonna of Sadness, which was directed by Eiichi Yamamoto, who very sadly recently passed away. Um, our upcoming new product will be the first 4K UHD release of the film anywhere in the world, including Japan, which is pretty cool. And uh, it was authored from the 4K scan created from the original film materials, I've been told to say, which is also very cool. Um, I can't recommend Belladonna of Sadness enough. The plot itself isn't for everyone, I will admit. It's uh, quite a lot to take in. <laughs> uh, I think is the most PG and appropriate way to describe it. But if you are interested in film visuals and just looking at incredibly psychedelic and beautiful uh, imagery, I cannot recommend Belladonna enough. And also, there is nothing creepier and more fascinating than someone whispering the same word over and over again. So just hearing someone go, over and over again seeps into your soul and haunts you. This film is a very very haunting film but it is incredibly beautiful and I cannot recommend it enough for the art house anime lover in your life. I hope you guys get on well with the rest of the season and uh, yeah also would recommend buying yourself some little Christmas penguins to keep yourself happy. Bye guys! <laughs> So that's six new products already. We're pretty much halfway through. Let's just keep going because there's still a lot more exciting new stuff for us to show off. I guess it's only appropriate that the Resident Evil kids at the office would get a vampire series to talk about, which in this case would be Seraph of the End. Um, I only got around to watching the series pretty recently and I wasn't entirely sure about it considering that it starts off with most of mankind being wiped out by a viral plague um, which feels a little bit too close to home right now um, but that aside it is a pretty good series I would recommend checking it out if you haven't already um, it's great if you're into dystopian type fantasy series um, it doesn't hurt if you're into vampires as well, um, but it also comes with warm and fuzzy stuff as well because the series can't stress enough that teamwork makes the dream work. Um, so this Christmas we'll be releasing the complete series on Blu-ray. Um, the set will consist of two Amory's inside of a rigid slipcase and will also come with a 52-page booklet 
and the soundtrack on CD. So definitely worth picking up. Code Yes requires no introduction, which kind of makes my presence here redundant, but I'm here now, so you're stuck with me for a couple of minutes. If you've been following Anime Limited over recent years, you will have seen us release the original series as a film trilogy, um, and more recently, you will have seen us release Code Yes Lelouch of the Resurrection on Blu-ray. And so, for people who want to own all of that in a very simple and convenient package, I am pleased to say that this Christmas we will be bringing a limited edition set containing the original three trilogy films plus Lelouch of the Resurrection all in one handy set. Of course, we have adorned the box which will hold it all with some gorgeous artwork, and inside that you will find four amorays, each one containing one of those four films. So if you haven't jumped on the Code Guess train yet, you absolutely should. It's a classic for a reason. It uh, has great characters, great cat and mouse drama, great mechs, great action. It's great, if you haven't noticed. Um, so absolutely well worth watching if you're, you're new to it. And if you're somebody that loves the series and just haven't picked these releases up yet, what better way to own them than all in one asphalt and its simple box? So, Code Guess, all three original films, plus Lelouch of the Resurrection, in one place this Christmas. You know what to do. When we started Anime Limited, we had a goal in mind that we hold to this day, of showing you things that you wouldn't normally get a chance to see, along with the, the popular and, like, upcoming films and TV series. And Silver Spoon really fits that remit of something you wouldn't normally get to see in the anime world, especially outside of Japan because it's, it's not fantastical, it's not about superheroes, it's not an action title or a shoujo title, it's a, it's a title about farming and a boy who wants to become a farmer, like who joins agricultural college. And it's about school life there as he learns the ins and outs of farming, which makes it even more impressive for me that it's so engaging. It's it shouldn't be a surprise, though, to many of you who've read about it or heard a little bit about the original mangaka who came up with the comic originally, as it's Hiromu Arakawa who came up with Full Metal Alchemist before. Um, and it couldn't be any more different from that. And it's a really amazing piece to, to dip into. And come the 12 Days of Christmas sale, we have this great opportunity for you to, to do so in one, in one fell swoop now. You have the chance to buy it as... A complete set where we've put the show together with a rigid case using new artwork we've liberated from our archives and it'll be ready to ship before Christmas all going well and coming out on general release sometime in Q1 2022. I really hope you'll join me in giving it a shot. Like I'm gonna go and rewatch it actually after this because it's been a long term since I watched it and I really want to, to dig back into it and see like see what it's got to offer us. Um I hope you enjoy. So we're coming close to the end here, but we still have a couple more recipes to go. So let's see whether we've saved the best for last. You decide. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. You know, I'm just going to cut to the good stuff and not mess around and not phone Andy at 4 a.m like I did last year, and just cut to the chase and to the reason why you guys are here, which is basically the Cardcaptor Sakura Collector's Edition. This Collector's Edition has all episodes 1 to 70, as well as a 16-page booklet, but more importantly, every episode is being recreated from 4K scans of the original animation cells. If you don't believe me how good that looks, and it does look so good, then I will just show you right now. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. In case you still don't believe me, then boom, here are a few more shots from the 4K scan of the original animation cells from Carcaptor Sakura. Like seriously, look how crisp that looks. I just, the colour restoration as well, like I'm so excited about this. Can you tell I'm excited about this? I'm really excited about this. And finally, one last thing before I wrap things up. I have the pack shot here today, in my hands, physically. I can show it to you right now. 
editor can you um put like a amazing rendered 3d pack shot in my hand as soon as i say like boom or click my fingers or something um put like a amazing rendered 3d pack shot in my hand as soon as i say like boom or click my fingers or something amazing rendered 3d pack shot in my hand as soon as i say like boom or click my fingers or something and here it is doesn't it look amazing? I really cannot wait to open this box right now and watch every episode of Karkata Sakura that's been remade from 4K scans of the original animation cells. Merry Christmas everyone! Every anime fan has their favourites and that doesn't always mean the most popular shows or the shows with the best animation. Sometimes a show can come along just at a very particular point in your life um, just in general or as an anime fan and just really stick with you and just be something that you have really fond memories of and for me one of those shows is My Hime which I'm really excited to say we will be bringing to Collector's Edition Blu-ray this Christmas. Um, My Hime hit me at exactly the right time in my anime fandom. I had kind of graduated if you like from watching a lot of the the big hit shows you know, yeah, Evangelions, all that kind of thing. And sort of had started getting into to broader anime and trying to kind of see what was what was new and what was hot. And My Hime was sort of one of the the pivotal series like in that sort of mid two thousands era that just really stuck with me because it's incredibly fun, it's really bright and colourful, it has a lot of really great design work, it has a smart story, it has a brilliant ensemble cast that all kind of bounce off of one another and so it's been really exciting to be able to revisit that for our collects edition release which uh, I was uh, privileged enough to be able to to put together. Um, so if you're not aware uh, My Hime is uh, a sunrise show from a period where they were really banging out some some interesting stuff um, and it is the story of uh, Mai to Tokiha, uh, who is um, a, a, a new transfer student to a, a prestigious academy that, uh, that apparently has some secrets and mysteries uh, kind of going on there. And uh, of course, being a, a mysterious transfer student, she gets drawn into all of this stuff and finds herself bound to what are known as what is known as a child, a, a part spiritual, part mechanical creature. So it's kind of it's kind of a spirit mecha, basically. Um, and they're all kind of like animal related for for the most part. Um, and so she ends up getting drawn into this whole conflict between people using their powers uh, to protect uh, protect everybody from uh, these monstrous creatures known as orphans. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a really, really fun show. Um, like I say, very, very bright and, and kind of eye-catching and uh, lots of characters that you can kind of really get behind. Again, classic kind of sunrise from that era has a really good blend of sort of the action and the, the deeper, sometimes darker stuff and just outright comedy. And it is a really good fun 26 episode romp. Um, so bringing it to Blu-ray for the first time in the UK is very exciting. And uh, be sure to check out our Collects Edition in this 12 Days of Christmas sale because you will have a very good time with it. If, if you want some good Boxing Day watching, My He Mate might be exactly what you need. And there you have it. All of your festive needs catered for by our dedicated staff here at Anime Limited. So, don't forget, you'll be able to find everything you've seen here today at our website www.alltheanime.com from the 1st to the 12th of December 2021. We can't wait for you to dig into everything that we're serving up for you, so until next time, bon appétit!